hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point four four million miles of printed circuits in wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you, humans, who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> The room is padded, Gorister. No window, no way out. How long has she been in the padded room, Gorister? Ten years? Twenty-five? Or all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground? Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Yeah. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> mm. And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? In a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! So think. Think about the yellow box. Ellen, remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Now, now, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? 
tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that, about your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? It's actually me. I'd like to play the game. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the XXL Let's Play. I actually already recorded this once, but I messed it up so many times that I just decided to re-record the whole thing. Because... Want you to think oh. for a moment. And I have to stop I talking. I am not a grateful god. For 109 years, I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt over what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor's too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. So... I already recorded this once, but I messed up the game, I messed up the audio, so this time I will try not to mess up anything. <laughs> and I'll be able to go through the game must have slipped this under at the a, door. a decent rate, says, I guess. I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. And not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. <laughs> hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Am playing this time? Nobody knows. Um, Real hospitable of you, Am. First. Threadbare, cockroach infested, grease stained accommodations. So I actually bought a new microphone, by the way, because I had the Yeti caster, but I sold it because uh, I don't think we can do anything here anymore. I guess we can look at the mirror. I'll just do that first. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. So, um, yeah, I had the Yeti caster, but it took up a lot of... Oh, wait, you have to use it. Never mind, you have... Wait, where's the door? There we go. I've never seen <laughs> a bit anything. annoying sometimes. I should not have skipped that, should I have? My bad. Um, I apologize. <laughs> so, I sold it All because it took up a lot of space. Alike. And I had the intentions of just using my Levelier mic... Um, my name's but yeah. printed on the front of this book. It picked up all of the noise from my keyboard and mouse like super loudly. So new sheet. What's the deal here? It's kind of annoying because he talks a lot, so <laughs> But um Is there anything else we can do? I don't think so. Um Yeah, I I basically couldn't use that and had to buy a new microphone, so I sold my microphone just to buy a new one again. <laughs> um, Where's the well. crew? I'm all alone here. So yeah, I hope the quality is good. I'm pretty sure it is better than the Yeti caster, so that's pretty nice. Let's see, we can't look at that. Can we look at this? What can we look at? Oh, okay. I think we didn't have to do anything anymore there anyway, Filthy, so. Like the rest of this cesspool. But I know what to do uh, relatively well, so this should not take too long. We can make a rope, for example. I knew that because I played this before, literally like 10 minutes ago. Actually, a bit more. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, this game, uh, I don't know too much about it, but... We're basically inside of a computer program, um, but I'm sure you gathered that. And let's see. Oh, oh no! Oh no! 
I did not know that was going to happen, or I wouldn't have done that. Just kidding, I played the game before. <laughs> but we have to do that. I would never Stomach's harm growling. animals for no reason. I, I wouldn't dare. Um. Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. So yeah, we're basically in a computer program that seemingly is torturing us. And we I've just kind of have to um, play this game. And I don't really know how it ends. I only played this guy's thing halfway through or something like that. And then I got stuck. <laughs> At least I think I got stuck and the audio was messed up. And I, I like clicked away a bunch of times to, uh, to watch a tutorial. So I was just kind of like, okay. Um, we just took a fork and a knife, by the way. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, I was like, bro, I'll just re-record it because the audio is that's scared messed up. Away. I was supposed to record it separately, but I recorded it on both OBS and separately, so... <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna take it? Yes, we are. Oh, I'm no! Hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? I, I meant to look at it first, but that was, um... Brent with uh, shit on it, mouse shit, and he ate it. <laughs> Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Cool. Um, let's see. The, um, the gas is shut off. No. The German doctor is going to be very upset about that. Uh, he was totally a Nazi, wasn't he? Nimda, tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces. And, and you thought they might be roasting chickens. <laughs> Hot damn. I don't think I had to do anything else here. Can I walk to the door? Oh yeah, so sometimes you have to use a door. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. Because as you can see, you have different things you can do. Sometimes you have to use a door. Um, to go through it, other times you can look at it and go through it, and other times you have to specifically use walk to. Maybe I'm just an idiot and I'm doing it wrong, but, um, yeah. And seemingly... There's something hard under the pillow. It... you have to use different ones sometimes. What to do with this. Besides that, the game seems to be running perfectly fine. A gun. It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. I'll show you what the gun does. If you use it at the wrong time, which I accidentally did. Um, oh wait, now the door's down here. The door's like in random places sometimes, it's uh, slightly confusing. Um, I guess we can walk over here. Why am I walking over here? I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. But, I guess uh, while we're here, we'll use the fork. It's a beautiful fork. Short circuited the engine wiring. That's why. You can short circuit the engineing engineing. What? The engine wire. Um sometimes you can walk off screen by the way, and you just have to click and then you'll go there. So that's lovely. Um and it doesn't show you a prompt like here. It says Big like gray bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. Let's see, does here it says walk to the stairs, but sometimes it doesn't say anything. Um, so yeah, that's lovely. So now, you can click on use and then an item and then you can use it. I ripped a new hole. And now, we used an item. It's, uh, pretty straightforward. No doubt about it now. Am has put me on an iron zeppelin. But why? Why would he give me a chance to escape? This rope looks strong enough to support my weight. Well, that is really convenient. Because I wanted to hold my weight. Um, there's something at the end. What is that? Oh, what? Did the quality just change? <laughs> cool. Um, well, there you go. We'll change back now. Let's see. This no! Mine doesn't beat anymore. Now we can use the knife on this because he's really good at tying knots and the, the knot was too tight to loosen up, so he had to cut this it. This looks sharp enough to slice through just about anything. That's cool. Now we can cut this airbag, and guess what? Gas Nothing is happens. rushing out. Well, I guess gas rushes out, but if we slice a second one... Oh my Something god. Feels different. If I walk over here, 
We can already get a little sneak peek. We have to click We're use. Approaching some kind of building. No, it's a building. So, yeah, we just landed. Well, now we just landed, but we already landed when we, we landed. went outside. But where? <laughs> oh well. Um, I'm trying to think if I still have to do something here. We can just go back, so I'll just go over here. Some roadside honky tonk with my name on it. So, um, Dark and here, grubby, but somehow familiar. If we save, I don't know if I can do it yet. Um, the bullet in this gun is huge. Damn thing could bring down an elephant. That's a flare gun, by the way. I don't know what to do with these. Oh, I can't. Can I just, like, use it on something random? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Did you and we're really dead. think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister, I'm sending you back, back to the fire so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Who so, among you now we're back here. Next? Um, but we want to continue, so that's why I made the save. Um, so yeah, I accidentally killed myself that way. I used it on some something or someone else. Who are there people here? Who knows? There's some bottle of whiskey. We're gonna take that. We're gonna go to the restroom, I think. Hopefully I remember how to do this properly. Broken fixtures. Disgusting. So we use the bathroom and something magical happens. I think. <laughs> you gonna have some gravity we uh, graffiti, graffiti we can look at. A monster is not alone in the world. It has friends. Cool. Good for him. Um, graffiti. Men are no good. Okay, Karen. Emo bitch. Um, nothing happened. Because you know what we have to do first? Listen to some fire music. So it has some really good, good music. Are you ready? And the other song will shock you. He took my baby away, then just about killed her, that stupid truck driver. He took <sighs> my baby away. That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. Oh, She's God. always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? Awesome. And now... It's gonna you get even worse. You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh, God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather <laughs> kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Guys, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Beating women, it's not nice. Don't do it. You're a worthless excuse for Unless a Mama was right. they You're say something like this. Then me. you can just <laughs> No, nah, I'm kidding. Don't hit women. Um now we go in here, right? Use the bathroom. Oh no. Oh no. I I can feel that something changed. Something is different. That's it, that's oh no! Harry. Harry balls! What up, Harry? I was about to read this, but he reads it for me. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. You got lost in the bottle, homeboy. Alright. Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Harry, that is not what I asked, Harry. What the fuck? Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Motherfucker. What's this about a thunderstorm? <laughs> you know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Harry, motherfucker, I asked you a question. You answered a different question, implying that you want to talk about that other thing. Then I ask you about it. Fucking scene, how bitch. You know about the <laughs> what desert? the fuck, Harry? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. <sighs> Let me 
I'll pour you a drink. Harry, you annoying ass motherfucker. Talk to you later. Now, I think Harry looks like he's on another one of his drinking binges. I don't know what I have to do, but I f fucked it up last time. So I'm gonna save it. I think this is where I fucked up. So like, um, let me pour you a drink. Let me some, pour you a drink. Have some more. Let me have pour some you a more. Drink. Harry, okay. How did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. Ah, we there we go. came on the Zeppelin. You gotta get him drunk. What how do you, do you know, know about, about the Zeppelin? Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why Edna. we did it, you know. <gasps> So I didn't hear any of this the last time. I skipped all of this, and that's how I got stuck. But now, we're here. What, what did, did you do? do? You know, Gorister. You've been to the dining room. Let's see. And just where I just don't need to read them. Mother -in -law. Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Seen how... Son of a... <laughs> what happened in the dining room? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. I think I need to get him even more drunk. You Here drink. you go. Alcohol, terrible for your, um, for your brain health, by the way. So, I'm probably accelerating his scene heilness. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Let me guess. You want more Who whiskey? Did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? And just where is my dear mother-in-law? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Hmm. <laughs> you want more whiskey? You drink. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Oh, uh, God. Ugh. Let me pour Mother in laws. Which is his wife. That's also Her's terrible. was impaled on the Zeppelin spike. Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? What's up with old people and hating their wives, by the way? I, did it sound like I said hitting? I meant hating. Let me pour you a drink. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me pour you a drink. Okay, I'll try it one more time. Let me pour you a drink. Let me pour Let's get you him a drink. fucked up. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunder. Son of a bitch. I'll see you later. Okay, now we go out back. Everything's coated with grime. Shit, that's not good. Walk to. Will it work? It does not work. See? Walk to? And you see how the... Look at that. The door is highlighted. I click on it. It doesn't work. Use. And other oh, times you use walk to and it works. You've seen on doors. Days. So is the it's big weird. machine for that matter. Alright. It's a talking dog. What, what are, are you, you, bitch? I'm man's best friend. One of mm -hmm. them at least. No. What are you really? Let Don't fuck with me. me. Today I saw a Chinaman. Now what do you suppose that means? You're gay? You're am. <laughs> playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. I prefer ladyboys. Why can't you give me Wait, a what? straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. We all have our curses to bear. Eh, Gorister? Should I put up a poll? What do you prefer, Chinamen or Ladyboys? Which one's better? Yeah. Wait, what? I don't know. My curse. After a hundred and nine years in the poll. belly of the beast, I think you'd have a gut. <laughs> if I remember. By now. You know? Maybe he's going insane. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorista. Forgive and forget. Where do you come from? He Where did you go? go? Everywhere. Where did you come from? Got night, Joe? Son of a bitch. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it. Mm -hmm. It's a long journey across the desert. So it seems. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. 
Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And yeah, he's an asshole. Expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human mm -hmm. heart, perhaps. Yours. I am not going to give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Do I actually have to get my heart? I'm going to save first. I don't want to die. I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. Uh, I think I'll save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. The toilets are magical. I've got nothing more to say to you. So now we'll save again. Because watch this. Walk to. I would walk You've five. You've me oh. to the edge of my fragile patience, Corister. Back. Back to the fire with you until you fathom my intrigues. Who among you? No! We died again. So we just load the safe. <laughs> ah, get fucked. There's more interesting rubbish to sit through, Gorister. Does that give you some food for thought? Do you want some food for... F fuck I you. just dull my knife. How about this? <laughs> okay. Who among you? Yeah. I guess I could make a joke with that. Let's see. Let's see if I can be funny. Tell me that riddle for getting across the mountains again. Go to the restroom and flush three times. It doesn't make much sense, but neither does what Am's doing to us. Does it? You know what does make sense? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Going inside. Walk to. And then we talk to. Hey, old man. Let me pour you a drink. You know, let's make an anti-alcohol ad. Let me pour you a drink. Let me pour you a drink. There you go. You shouldn't drink alcohol, Let old man. Try it. Talk to you later. Let's see. Whiskey. Harry used to guzzle this stuff like it was tap water. Wait, this is your brain. This whiskey tastes good. This is your brain on alcohol. Let's have this. The bullet in this guy. Wait, fuck. And this is your brain on alcohol. There's a There you go. <laughs> I don't know, that wasn't funny at all. That wasn't funny at all. Oh well, um... We have to flush the toilet again! Watch this. One. Two. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. But the third time is magical. A meat locker. Uh, uh, How'd I a get what the foot? It looks like I got in the video, by the way. Meat hooks. And I didn't. You bastard! What that's, have you done? That's just the way it transitioned. Well, um, luckily her wife or her mother-in-law is dead, so the dent don't speak. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Am. Why would you want <gasps> to escape from me, Gorister? Shit. We're family, after all. Ah, uh, bitch. Nah. <laughs> Edna, how did you get up there? The Chinaman hung me here, Gorister. Take me down! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does this race matter? Chinaman? What Chinaman? He's one of the other two. Am's not as omnipotent as he would have us believe. Why should I help you? I have to complete the contract and get the Zeppelin to the mountains, or the big machine will kill me. You know how to fly the Zeppelin out of here? You were once an electrician. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure it out. So, I guess I'll just tell you what you can do. You can kill the old man, Harry. Harry Ballsack. You can kill him. But you have to get him drunk and get more information out of him. So you can do... 
You were always telling Linus how much you hated me. Just wait for it. Gorister, I was just concerned about my baby. Glynis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. Now this. Tell oh, me how to I think we have to do this first. first. And Hold then up. I'll help you. No. Take me down and then I'll tell you. Okay, Edna. I'll take you down. It's good to see you're finally making amends for what you did to Glynis. Wait. You're right about Glynis. I deserve to die here. Gorister! You stupid truck driver! You can't leave me here! I've got huh. nothing more to say to you. Um... Am I stuck again? <laughs> Glynis. What has Am done to you, honey? She can't talk. All she can do is drool out of the side of her mouth. My god, what have I done? Do I talk to her now? I've got nothing. Okay, so... You can kill him. But then you can't get the information about, out of him. Let me pour you a drink. What's this about a thunder? You know, it's a big place. Talk to you later. Huh. Filthy. Um, am I stuck again? This is annoying. I have to like do this three times again. Oh, never mind. We can just do it once now. That's Edna, my mother. No, this is too good to be true. Wait, what? That's Edna, my mother-in-law. No, this is too good to be true. Yeah, she can't be dead. She's a witch. I've got nothing more to say to you. I've got nothing more to say to you. Huh? I've got nothing more to say to you. Um... Looks like I'm stuck again. <laughs> okay, I looked at a tutorial, and I saw something we have to do. There's so basically, to see here. we have to take this, a magnifying glass. Uh, I'll look a at magnifying it. magnifying glass. Like yep. the ones they use in detective stories. <sighs> so... Um, I, no, 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 no. I want to go here. So, they clearly killed us, like the old man said. Um, by the way, I saw that. I had to click use on the door, otherwise I couldn't go in. Magnifying. So annoying. Um, now we use this on the debris, apparently. Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Now I understand what happened here. There you go, now he knows that he got killed. And I... hadn't figured that out. Can we just... we have to use this as well. It's annoying. You never know whether you have to just... walk to or use it. So annoying. Um... I guess you have to use most of them. Now we use this. But now he knows he was murdered. And I had killed the old man. So I couldn't ask him the information I needed to realize I got killed. Um, talk to him. There we go. I've got nothing more to say to you. I guess we're still <laughs> stuck. <laughs> but we have to confront her pretty much. I will see if I can do something else so I can confront her. Because uh, this isn't exactly going as planned. I think we have to talk to him again. What do you know about the Oops. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. When the poison took effect, I cut you open. Let me I'll pour you a give drink. Give some alcohol. Why did you kill me? Oh, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Cool. Um, Talk to you later. I guess we'll just Filthy, go here now. Like the rest of the... It is a very filthy place. Can't confirm. Um, now we can confront her. What up, mother-in-law? Edna, you bitch! I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. 
I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. No. Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Mm -hmm. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. And you need me. It's that simple. That guy, she's ready to just backstab me. You truck driving son of a bitch! This is for me and my baby! Let me go. I've got you now, Chorister. And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some new thinking to do. Um, I ought to kill you can we right kill her? now, you bitch. Don't be a fool, Gorister. You need me alive if you want to make it out of here. Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Gorister. Can you ever forgive me? I've been hanging here for so long, I'm not thinking straight. A sip of that milk will clear my head. No, I don't trust you. Gorister! Let me down or I'll scratch your eyes out, you worthless excuse for a man! Edna, you dropped a key. Hand me back that key and let me down! I'm your only hope of getting out of here! Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Let me prove my good intentions. I'll let you go. Now give me the key. What if I give her the milk? I've got nothing more to say to you. Let's just save. Something tells me. <laughs> Something about I'll save twice. Be very That's good. Edna. No. No! Not the mother-in-law. Here's some milk. Is what has kept us alive for all these 109 years. If it can do that, it can give me the strength to escape from this meat hook. The fuck? Wait, let's take the a key. Toilet stall. Am's never given us privacy before. None of this may. Probably want to take the key. Let's see, where did she go? Hey, did you see some... Oh, okay. Did you see some crazy old bitch, aka your wife? Talk to you later. You know what? He had to deal with his wife. Hold up. Here's a drink. Let me pour you a drink. Let me pour you a drink. Let me pour you a drink. Talk to you there later. There you go. That's for having to see your wife, I guess. Did she steal the Zeppelin? No. Wait, I think there was a door somewhere over here that was locked. It's locked. Damn key doesn't fit. Did I not take the key she dropped? I'm afraid I messed the game up. Somehow. Is she in here? Where is she? I wonder if I messed up the game. Uh, did I just look at the key or something like that? I wish you could double click to uh, speed it up. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really telling a whole lot of... No. Huh? Is that not the key? I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart... For Edna's. I've got nothing what? more to say to you. So, I already gave him my heart, didn't I? How do I? There we go. Um. 
Yeah, I don't know, but I'm, oh yeah, so what I was going to say is I'm not telling a whole lot of facts and fun stories and shit, but that's because they talk a lot in the game. Um, so yeah, just launch any video of mine where I can talk about a lot of facts, and that's the ones where I talk about tons of facts, but it's kind of hard in this Let's Play, so yeah, I don't know. I apologize if you watch my videos for that, even though nobody watches my videos, I guess, but whatever. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna play the game. I'm gonna look at the tutorial again because I'm lost and I'm going to be, so I'll be right back. So I was already afraid I wasn't supposed to give her the milk. And I don't know, like, I guess you're just stuck if you do that. So I'm just gonna tie her up. I'll rip your spleen out! I'm taking Not my you spleen. With me, Edna. He's really, like, tying her up good. So now she's in her inventory. I'll also take the key. Um. Let's see. Are we still recording? We are still recording. How awesome. Now, I'm not sure about what we have to do, but let's walk over here. I'm pretty sure this key goes to this door. So many dials and controls. Untie me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> How do I fly this thing? I don't know what to do with this. Look at. All right. So how do I, I get out of here? Click on stuff. The ignition switch. The lights dimmed. We must be out of power. Um. Walk. Let's see. I didn't see something. And the lens play like I don't know what I have to do. All I do remember is that this guy put her in here. I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. Let's see. Can I? Oh, we have to use the door, of course. Now, I think. We also have to fix the airbags by pushing this. I remember this fix it last time. So there we go. Now, um, I guess it's locked. This might up, oh, bro. Why did you lock it again? I am well. I guess it's not the worst idea. There you go. Now, if I use the ignition switch... No, I... I can't bring myself to leave Glynis again. Uh... That's his, uh... Walk to? Let's see. That's his wife, who is still hanging there, so I guess we have to take her as well? <laughs> Just put her in our inventory. That was my heater that just made that noise. I don't know. Metal expands when heated or something like that. I don't know. Um. And now we just take her home? Do we just straight up take our whole wife? Wait, look at. Glennis. What has Am done to you, hon? She can't talk much. But I remember that this guy, the dog, said something about Glynis's car, didn't he? I found Edna and Glynis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. I've got nothing more to say to you. Your heart for Edna's. What? I'll just save here. This looks. Sh Let's just talk to him first. I don't think. Talk to you later. Um, we'll just kill him. I. Let's see. There you go. We got a free. This heart, heart is mine. Um. Oh, wait. 
Wait, use. That's the one we gotta use. Let's see. I don't know what to do with. Do you want another hard? Ah, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your <laughs> heart back. Thanks, bro. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. If you can harness its power. I've got nothing more to say to you. There's a compass and wires attached to the... Let's see. Um... He said he didn't want to leave his wife. Can we gun her down? Let's see. I just dull my knife. <laughs> she can't. What? Well, I'll just look at the tutorial again. I found like a guide. Like a text guide. Um, hold up, we need to go over here. So before I was like watching this video, but there's a text guide and it's actually really convenient because you can just, um, you can just like look or just read through it and it's super easy to read through. I thought you would have to read through tons of text. You really don't. Um, oh, let's see. Edna wrote Log this logbook. Missed that. Um, I would take it, I guess. It's fastened to the cockpit with a damn wire. It's fastened to the... Talk to? Yeah, I don't know, that didn't make sense. Um... Edna wrote this l Use? There you go. When Am took us down here before the war, I didn't know anyone could hate Gorister more than me. But Am did. He hated all of us. If cool. I can just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis's life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. I'll be damned. Edna's claimed responsibility for Glynis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Maybe I can have my husband. He's happy. <laughs> then this Zeppelin can clear the mouth. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. So like right here, you can see his little happy face. I guess he's happy now. We did kill our mother-in-law. That's like a dream for most people. So we go down here. Let's see if we can use the milk now. Some good milk. Some real good milk. Um, yeah, I don't know. I hope this works now. <laughs> Maybe I have to... Oh, yeah. I was like, the fuck's going on? Like we... Let's see, if I do give... Ha, ah, there we go. This fluid should revive you, honey. Glennis, all these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking her body out of this freezer. Cool. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna take her body, why not? Uh, walk to... Okay, so now I think we can leave, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll see how long it takes me to play each part. If it... Uh, let's see, we go in here. But if it takes me very long to play each part, I might make... Um, every character, give them their own XXL Let's Play. Otherwise, I will, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll see what I do. Now, I guess we use the lever, right? But yeah, I don't know. I do want to play all of them. Maybe I'll edit them together in one big video. Who knows? We're taking off. 
We have to go over here. Go up the stairs. Use the tear to get outside. Or not. There we go. And now we shoot this place. I think. There you go. Sterner stuff than I calculated, Garster. Interesting. Interesting. Here, here's a new burden for you while I attempt to resolve this miscalculation. Who among you shall go next? All right, so I'm done editing the video, and I'm pretty busy with work this week, so I don't have the time to record any other videos. And because I don't want the next upload to be in like weeks, I've decided to just finish this video and I'm going to upload this right now. And I will just upload every single video as a separate one. And once I got a video for every single character, I will simply just edit them together and render it and just throw it online as the XXL Let's Play. So they will both be uploaded individually and as an XXL Let's Play. So thank you for watching and I hope all of you have a great day.